a grass drill is different than a grain drill for a couple reasons. I'm just going to start at the front and kind of work my way back as far as reviewing what is different about a grass drill. Uh, in this case, we have a, a Great Plains grass drill. If you notice, it has three boxes. Uh, also, the gauge wheel, which is similar to any other drill that drives all of the internal components of the drill uh, through these chains. Um, a very important part of the grass drill is the opening discs with the depth bands. These are the depth bands here. They're about an inch in width and they only allow the seed to be seeded about three quarters of an inch deep. Uh, it keeps these discs from going too deep and allowing the seed, when the seed falls through the seed tube, it keeps the seed from going too deep. Uh, and speaking of the seed tube, the seed tubes are special uh, on a grass drill because of their diameter. They have a larger diameter than a grass drill just to allow that chaffy seed not to uh, not to stop up. And uh, I believe Brett's going to talk to us about the uh, the other parts of the grass drill. On the back side of the grass drill, back here in the box, there's two sprockets that run, two shafts that run through the middle of this box. The top sprocket runs the agitator, which uh, stirs the seed and allows it to uh, flow easier. This bottom sprocket actually runs what they call a picker wheel, and this is one of the main differences in the box uh, aspect of it from a wheat to a, or a grain drill for a grass drill. These picker wheels actually come up in the box and essentially grab the seed and shove it down the tube where Brett was talking about earlier. Seed down the tube and in between those two uh, double disc openers with the depth band, like Brett was talking about earlier. And then back here, you have your press wheel, and your press wheel essentially uh, firms the seed bed behind the seed and covers it up and allows good seed soil contact.